Like, you, do you think that's an? I think cheating that? is a learned behavior. Just like stealing is a no, learned no, behavior, no, no, lying no. is a learned behavior. It's a learned behavior. You don't wake up saying, I want to sleep with a whole bunch of women. That's a learned behavior because you see it on TV. You see it with your biology. Friends. Okay, let's just say biology, right? Biology wise, right? Do you think biology wise, men are more are more prone to have babies by other women or women are more prone to have babies by other men? Mm, I don't know. I'm, I'm not educated in that area to like speak on it. All I can okay. say is when we do stuff that's um, not morally Bi sound. When we do things that are makes our life complicated, those are no. learned behaviors because life is really Bi simple. By a biology, Bi 30, Bi men, 30 men can populate the whole fucking country. 30 right. men. But you we, know why? We don't, need, we don't need 30 men populating the whole country. No, no, no. And well, what I'm trying to show you is that the reason why is that it shows you the value of like the population, right? Like how one man can have so many women and still. And so when I look at, oh, well, if men are more prone to, you know, because the more kids we have, that's our legacy, right? It's like, the you know, it's that's what it really is. No, that's what it exactly is. Because they all hold your last name. They all hold your bloodline. So that's like really big. So the more you can do that, the more. But it's only in America or westernized thinking or in societies where monogamy is practiced at a level that exists now. It's not only in America. Yeah, like, well, well, let's just it's say every the one, Christian society. Well, yeah. It's in and that's the, all I, over the world. No, I, and, and you know what I mean? Speaking about Christianity, you know every time they indoctrinated <laughs> that place, every time they indoctrinated huh? to a new country, every time they indoctrinated to a new country, they would like always kill and massacre a lot of the people before they put their religion out there and then save mm -hmm. them. I used to always look at that every time, All everywhere they land. Go that there. Point. Nah, Christianity did it on a high rate. You know yeah, I mean? but all yeah. all religions did it though. It doesn't matter if it's high rate, it low rate. Was, no. All the Crusaders. That yeah, that was the Christianities. It was Christian. All kind of countries invaded other countries, and I mean, it's just no, it was, no, it was Christianity. We're gonna have a podcast the about that. Tribes to this day are I, speak, over. I speak against. I do not like. I I man, that shit fucks with me all the time. Every time I hear people say that, and then I'll bring out the scripture where you know Jesus wasn't cool with that Christian shit. Like he didn't like them calling him a Christian. He just, you know, was was just Christ like, like be Christ. Even the. The disciples didn't even like that when they when they called them all oh, you Christians, which was quote unquote like being a Christ follower or whatever the case may be. And then that's when they took that on as a new trend over in the new world or whatever the case may be. And that's where they had the red cross and they called themselves Christians and they were gonna take out anyway. I ain't go. But that's just something that I always like really bothered me. Really and I grew up in Christian church every fucking day, like Verbatimly, you know what I mean. I've just seen some of the darkest shit come out. Of it, you know what I mean, but if you're on the other side, if you're on the other side, I mean, if you're in the audience, then yeah, you'll see the beauty and the glamour. But yeah, there's yeah, dark yeah. stuff on both sides, out in the world or in the church. So it, it it's messy yeah. in both sides. Yeah, What's you should you should you should get inside the Christian the Christian uh, gospel world. The gospel. Oh no, world. I know it's crazy. Oh, it's dirty. it's no, I I'd rather I I rather stay in the secular world than to go in the gospel world. I'd rather be surrounded it's, by somebody who knows God versus being surrounded by people who don't know him at all. Uh yeah. that, that that's a whole nother thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, both of them got a lot of dirt going on. You're right. It's crazy. I think God but. is in within, man. God is in within. I mean, we always look for this, you know, I mean, heavenly being. I think it's within. It's within us and we manifest and can like the bible said tongue is a double-edged sword you speak life and death so we understand that ye are gods on earth yes there's the almighty of what we like to say or the infinite being that we can't you know what i mean touch but it keeps us breathing and they're just things that people may not understand that they can really change their lives just by reaching and down within themselves but they always like you know what i mean praying to Zeus and shit and you know, or Satan you know so now you got devil <laughs> worshippers flat out in entertainment like flat out letting you know like they that's who they worship so yeah they put it out there in front of your face you know yeah
Hey Zeus, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I had, a, I had a dream the other night, Biz. It's crazy. And I, uh, I'll tell you more after the podcast, but it was like yeah. it was based on it was based on um some yeah. things where that you said about Jesus and and I and I, I saw my mom, my, uh, my brothers, and different things in nature. And I'll tell you more about it at the podcast, but this dream was very prolific. And in this dream, because I don't know if it was actually it was it was factual or not, but in this dream, I ended up telling you that you were right. I was like, fuck, bitch, you were right. And you was like, oh, I gave you that little laugh, that little snicker ass laugh that you give. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that laugh right there. But just like, <laughs> you gave me that laugh. And I was like, yeah, because I ended up asking, I ended up asking one of our family members. I was like, because I, I, it was still heavy on my heart, the, the, the conversation that we had. And I was like, yo, is heaven and hell real? They was like, yeah, heaven, heaven is real. And so is hell. And then it was like, I was like, but is Jesus real? Is God real? They was like, God is real. But Yashua is not, and I was like, and then you you gave me that laugh. I was like, it was like ha 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 ha. I was like, fuck you, biz. In my sleep, I actually said to my sleep, my wife, my wife was listening to. She, I guess she listened to me while I was sleeping. She goes, you said fuck you, biz, and shut up, April. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, I had these different things that I was because it was a, when I say this dream was like when I say it was like really on. on so she said I had a like damn near an hour conversation in my sleep. Yeah, you know we we had a conversation before we go. We, people, we out of here. People, we gotta go. But uh, before we go, the, we had a conversation about the book, the holy book, and I came up with a discovery: is that the book is true. It's just that there were things in the book that has been put in to you know narrate people in a okay. Think how you want it, but I see your eyes. But check, 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 check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Tomato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> uh, look, until, until I brought up scriptures, until I brought up, I started bringing up scriptures that was actually where people like James Darby had actually put the rapture in the Bible in the 1500s. He actually put that in it, right? And it's, it's literally, you can look this stuff up, right? But the, what it is, is that it's not that the book is a bad book, right? Because I obviously, you know, believe in a lot of the wording in it. But what it is, we have to know that a lot of the what, wording. <laughs> No, 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 but check, check. Well, because people don't understand that this book is a dark book. It's 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 an up and down book because there's a lot of you know crazy stuff in it. But we have That's to amazing. understand that we we are looking at the book in a different way. It's like someone took a story and it just put a white face on it and just changed some of the play in it. Like in the Bible it says, you notice confusion. You uh, where you notice the devil, you notice confusion, right? And mm -hmm. and if you look at I'm telling you, man, I went through this. I've, I've been no, broke this book down to ancient time, everything. But what I'm yes. saying is, is that we just look at the Bible. Most people look at the Bible as Jesus, as this, you know what I mean, person. And when it's actually a different narrative. You get what Why I mean? Like, Jesus? Why are there two different Jesus? Sir? No, I wouldn't say two different Jesus. I don't think no, there's Jesus. Two different narratives. Think, there's, there's this motherfucker with silky brown hair and he's white skinned and there's a black one. Okay. Uh, yes okay so my friend just I said that, uh, when we were in why. Vegas we were driving back from Vegas and she says I said well would you go to a white church I said because I visit white churches you know I don't have a problem with it and she goes no I could never go to white church I said well why she said because until I go to a white church and they tell me that Jesus looks it's like me yeah. I can't go there because they're they're That's teaching a lie and I can't be at a church that's lying. And I was just like, I've never even thought of it that way. She goes, yeah, because most churches will say, well, it doesn't matter what color Jesus is. And she goes, it does matter. Yeah, it and does I matter. thought, wow, I never thought that deep about it, like where I wouldn't go to a white church because of that. But she was like, until I see the pastor say that Jesus was a black man, I can't go there because he's before living a lie. Yes, before you go, this is where, I, this is why I say that. Why would they make up that Jesus skin, tell you. a tone of bronze, and hair of wool, and still keep us in bondage. Did, did they give us that? To, did they did they write that in the book to make us feel better about us being black? No, actually, his feet was bronze, his yeah. hair was wool, and wool, his eyes yeah. was red of fire. Red. Which meaning is he drank okay. wine a lot, uh, bro. I'm well, telling you, I, yeah, I, I know. Wait, 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 wait. It's not. It's it's no. It That's does fucking matter. 
And no, no, no. I'm saying as far as like he came for all of us. So no, no matter he did not. He white, he did Asian, not. green, that's yellow. The, that's the whole point. Oh man. See, th this is th th this is why this is why I cannot no, because everybody is... everybody DNA is wrapped up into black people DNA. That's been proven. That's scientifically proven. If there was a there was a there was a scientist who tried in Japan. He said, I tried. He said, I went into this this study trying to find back in my lineage that everybody came from right. Asian we, people. Uh, we all know that, Asian though. Point. He, said, he said, after all the study I found, he said, we derived from black people. Okay, yes, cool. We'll but that but that shouldn't that shouldn't say, oh, because these people are a certain race. White I'm people can't it. be saved, or Mexican people can't be saved, or you know what I mean. Like that's that's yeah. when people take it too far. Like only only us are right, or something all, like all that. Is this, hey, hey, you know what I hey, hey, you know what I say is crazy. Yeah, I, I, I say it's crazy. I say it's crazy you. how we can really sit here and um, well, how our people can take on the book and be beat into this book to think a certain way, right? We were beat into this book to think a certain way. It's different narrative, different doctrine, right? They didn't tell us all the stuff in the book. And when you go and look in the book, the Israelites was fighting back like a motherfucker. They was taking over shit. Even when they went through uh, uh, slavery with Syria, they went into slavery with Egypt, they went through slavery with Persia. I mean, they kept going through it. Why? Because they couldn't hearken onto the voice, right? I mean, it's been proven in the, throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament. Huh? Say, so why everything you quote is the truth and everything I quote is a fib? Facts. <laughs> I didn't, everything facts. Talking, right. <laughs> everything you quote about the Bible. Like, oh, this is this is the truth. And yeah, then, he's like, this is what I say is the truth. Yeah, <laughs> then, then you're like, well, no, is it? It was actually his feet, and then his fucking eyes, and then that's a fucking wrong. Because it no, was. was no, no, true. that's it. No, that's that's sure. What are you that, gonna say? The, I'm telling you verbatimly. I'm telling you verbatimly what it is because I went through battles. Wait, I went through battles with pastors about this, right? Before I went, through, before I started taking this shit with anybody, I went through big battles with pastors about this, right? Because I wanted to know why does it say this, and we preach this in church, and it says this in the Bible, like why? And I'm, I'm just asking a question. Sometimes yeah, they'll but tell no me, pastor preaches that Jesus is white. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. We're not. See, that's moving the goalpost. We oh. all know he's not white. We all know that. But what we're saying is, is the fact that certain messages in the Bible aren't taught. We aren't taught the rebelism stuff. So right? We're taught the passive aggressive stuff. We're taught so to praying and God will make a way without saying like, well, the Israelites didn't do that. God only spoke to the Israelites throughout the whole fucking Bible, and they didn't do that. They really yeah. hearkened to his voice, follow what they... Like, people don't even know there's over 600 some odd commandments, right? They just think Jesus, it's the top Jesus 10. White or black. It's Jesus white or black. Jesus white. Yahushua is, is, is black. Yes. Yes. I mean, white? Yes. yes. Um, yes. yes. Yahushua is Ashwa's black. black. Zeus. White. Uh, Jesus is white. I Zeus just say your name Jesus. I guess Zeus is white, yeah. Who? Zeus. That's what that's what you're referring to. L Lucifer? No, you said Zeus. Oh, Zeus, yeah, that's that's they are white. Greek mythology, Romans. And the Romans praise the fucking Greeks. I know that for a fact. Hey, y'all know about Afrocephicanus? <laughs> Aphrodisiacus was a great was a great uh, uh, Greek warrior, right? No, he beat the shit out the. He's beat the he he had beat the shit out the Hannibal, right? Hannibal, y'all know who Hannibal is, right? Right. And once he beat him, he took over Africa. Africa was named a certain different name. Once he took over, they named the country Africanus, and that's when it became Africa, right? Well, Literally, like King Khalifa. Have you heard of that? Like California, they say was you named. Damn right. King Khalifa, you're and that right. was a black warrior or something. You're right. But I don't you're know right. if it's true. But they said that's how California was named after Queen Khalifa. Hey, they don't, took it. They, they you know, took hey, it and named somebody else. You don't know what is, what is real and what isn't. But this, last hey, I believe it. I don't give a fuck anybody say because yeah. I believe last, I seen. Last question before we end the podcast. You go on. Uh, what happens in the when in the event that you do die? Hopefully, a peaceful mm -hmm. one. And then Jesus walks up to you like. Nigga. Questions you everything you were saying. You thought my name was Zeus? It, I, I, would say, I would say, I would say, I would say, I would say, hell yeah, 
because your name says Jesus in Latin, that's Isus. And when you derive that, that, that goes straight to Greek to Zeus. Facts. Facts. Big facts. I don't think that's what Jesus is going to be asking him anyway. That's the least of his things he's going to be asking about his name. He's going to be asking, why were you saying blasphemous stuff? Yeah, like, hey, you can believe in it all you want. Hey, 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 you can believe in it all you want. But you can go back, hey, even in, hey, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Even you can go back and see it for yourself. All you got to look look up is uh, etymology. I'm telling you, you can see this shit. Wordplay, derived words. You guys don't know what words derive from. Y'all think y'all just named, like, like how are you, you going to be named a, a, a slave name and not understand where that slave master come from? Right, I have and so it's like, it. why praise a religion and not know where the fucking religion come from? I've had enough experiences in my life to overpower that 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 fucking book or whatever. To say Jesus is real, there. I don't I believe mean, in that. Jesus it had nothing to do. It had yeah, nothing to do. Yeah, yeah, but it not Jesus. To do with anybody I else, had that Jesus it had, all day. I'm telling you, man, if I told you that Jesus walked up to me and I had a conversation with Jesus, you'll never believe it. You never. Believe yeah, because you would think he's a white dude. No. <laughs> I wouldn't. What would you think he was? How would you know? How would you know? Because what I how would you know? The many forms. No, oh, my fucking. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This is some. I. This is some. What do you mean? I can't, I can't what do you think? So does God. God comes guys, in many. Forms. Yes, he does. He's manifest himself in many forms throughout many the Bible. Forms. Oh my God. So, so, so Jesus. So Fire. that's why you have to be careful of the company you keep Thunder. and the things you say. Oh my God. I'm just all I'm saying is all I'm saying is this, bro, and and I'll leave it at this. Is this is I've hard to listen to. This is so hard. Evil, pure evil, that made me forget how to pray. You know my family. I grew up prayer warrior, prayer warrior. I got a prayer warrior family. That hey, that, 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 I'll die. He throws some prayer cloth on the camera right now. <laughs> hey, like, check this out. Check this out. You know what's crazy is that is that we control our own destiny and we don't even know that. You know what I mean? I and God that. gave us that choice and free, free will. will. No, it's called free and will. And we don't, and we're the ones that will blame God on the good things and not understand that we're learning those th good things off the mistakes that we've learned throughout our lives. But we'll say, no, God did it. And we're like, well, God says, no, I gave you here for free will, free choice for you to choose the right and make the right decisions. Absolutely. And you can have your heaven on earth. It even says it. In the fucking Bible, like our heaven with our heart, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. I mean, like it this says it. Earth, have our kingdom. Earth. So I, I don't. I, I don't. Anyway, the Lord's prayer. Lord's prayer. I get it. Now there's, there's a lot of truth to what you say. It made me really. Uh, no, no, this. It it made me really think, and I think that's why that dream came to me so profound. I'm gonna tell you like this. I normally I know I I deal with signs and experiences. Uh, and I'm very open. Me and God, I just don't play with God. I don't play with him at all. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't go over here like God. I'm doing well. God, I'm doing. I'm like good. God, I'm a sinner. Like straight up, now, I'm a sinner. I said today. I, I'm a sin tomorrow. I'm thinking about sinning in the next five minutes, and I'm sorry. I'm, I, I am completely <laughs> sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me so for I've doing been that. Some shit. I've been through some shit, and I'm like, God, why would you let this shit happen? Oh, you want me to blame God for it? Though. Oh, no, it was the devil. The devil, but I'm not hurt. No, nobody a, harmed me. It's just a fuck up. A, Hold on, I got this great... That's why. You know what I mean? It's like, no, I it's control that. No, get off your ass and go do what you're supposed to do. You the one made those decisions to sit on your yeah. ass. You can't blame the devil and, like, sometimes the devil ain't even fucking with you. We blame... Oh, the devil fucking on my phone today. Like, much credit. Oh, man. Like, much credit. We yeah. just, we yeah. just out here just it's just now be now we abusing it now. Now you don't even understand the real importance of it. You know what I mean? Like you you can never see the fuckery that goes on in Christianity. You would never see that shit in some it goes in there's Islam. a lot of stuff that goes on in many religions. Man, not, not in Islam. Oh shit, oh, you ain't coming up with them right that fuck now. Shit. They're doing scientific Scientology and all that stuff in the nation. Is you're not coming up in there with that fuck shit. You bring that fuck shit up in the Muslim church, you go get your shit beat into. Mm, <laughs> not true. You you go into go into a Muslim uh, a Muslim church and start twerking. It's not happening. There's so much. Stuff going on hey, right you, now. You've never seen DJ Khaled. You've never seen DJ Khaled do anything that disrespectful to. His fucking religion. Never. His songs aren't disrespectful to the religion. 
It's American music. That's American black music. That's what that is. No, you just said that with... his songs are disrespectful to his religion. I'm like, uh, no, pause. no, he don't. No, pause. you don't see. <laughs> no, you don't see him with bitches twerking inside the mosque. That's what I'm talking about. Not the mosque, but period. That's what I'm videos. talking about. That's what I'm talking. Can... No, see, see, that's the difference. See, th that's the difference. You will see a like. Uh, oh my god, Beyonce, no, Beyonce. Stop outside, outside the Beyonce. Beyonce would do great. Like. Beyonce does great, right? She goes to church, everybody knows she's a Christian girl, right? But did she does her thing? Nobody says anything about that, right? Yeah, a lot of she people did. say stuff about it, but I it's like it. but, right, just like they would say something about Khaled. But it, but what I'm talking about with Khaled, you, you've heart, you. Let me know any embarrassing. I could find you 15 churches that's got foul shit with motherfuckers twerking in there, doing all type of shit in Christian churches. Then you were finding mosses. Totally different run. You're not doing it. The disrespect level? No, you're not gonna just diss the mosque like that. You get your or or or, or a, a synagogue. You know what I mean? You're not gonna find that shit in in a in synagogue. We don't want to talk about that. I just you know, know the saying? standards. I mean, oh, why'd you put your fingers down? I was, I was about to match you. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm listening to it. I'm like, standards are like jacked up across the board. I'm sorry. All right, Biz, let's do it. You guys get go get your religious tea. It's out there. You know what I mean? They got it on sale. You know what I mean? It's it's called fucked up ninety nine. <laughs> I'm so fucking bad, man. You know what I mean? What it is is people. We gotta love each other, man. That's all it is. Just have love and pour out love, and your attentions will tell the next person on what you mean. That's Matt's Tribe TV podcast where we filter out that bull. I am not a hater. I'm just a congratulator on you learning something different, having a new perspective on life. Last words with notice, everyone. Before we get out of here, gang.